Well, I got a phone call a few years ago. Said Bonneville is where you need to be. So I packed it up and I headed west just to see what there was to see. Well, by the speed bug, I got bit. Now I just can't quit. I got the salt flats fever. Scream and scream, liners down to motor scooters and every motorcycle in between. Five full days of two wheeled land speed racing, well, that's what there was to be seen. By the speed bug, I got bit. Now I just can't quit. I got the salt flat fever. Alcohol or a turbocharger helps a motorcycle down the line. Greg Gates, uh, this is Ken Roth, Sean McVoy. Uh, <clears throat> this is our 158 cubic inch engine powered bike. It's a, an engine that uh, we designed and, and built at our shop. Um, I'm the, the designer. Kenny is the, the main wrench here, and, and Sean is the, the rider. We're from Michigan, and Sean's from uh, New York. Yesterday, we, we uh, set a record, providing nobody breaks it, of uh, 100, what, just over 170, between 170 and 171. Yeah. One pass down 170, and one pass back 171. Um, we're running in the uh, altered pushrod gas class. Um, we've had a few interesting occurrences this weekend, but all in all it's going it's going pretty well. We've had a couple of electrical quirks, but all in all things have gone pretty well. We're hoping we can get a couple more good passes in yet tomorrow. Quite interesting. It's a lot different racing type of racing than what I'm used to. I'm used to drag racing and stuff. A uh, little longer in between times and the heat, <laughs> but uh, it's nice. People have been really friendly. I've met a lot of interesting people. It's been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot. Bonneville itself is like has so much history to it. I mean, there's so many great things that have happened here. It's like the mecca of speed. People from all over the world come here to bring their machines and see how fast they will go. Uh, you know, I've been following Bonneville ever since I was a kid, and you know, the Blue Flame, uh, Craig Breedlove, and just on and on, all the races, the history. Uh, you know, what brought me to Bonneville uh, was a friend of mine uh, some years back, over 10 years ago, who. Uh, asked me if I would ride a bike for him and uh, one thing led to another. I came out to the salt, got salt fever. I've been back ever since. Uh, Greg and I were introduced uh, last year and uh, you know he uh, asked me if I would you know come back with him and, and ride uh, this year again and we've had some luck this year. We were able to uh, achieve a world record at 170 miles an hour but the people and the bikes and the atmosphere here it's you know kind of like one big family. Everybody's here to help each other out and cheer each other on and uh, just basically come out and uh, have a good time. Uh, it's a once in a lifetime experience. Anybody that's into two wheels, if they haven't been here, they should at least come and, you know, if they can't ride, at least come and spectate and, and enjoy the atmosphere and the camaraderie and uh, the essence and the spirit of what Bonneville is all about. It's absolutely uh, intense and uh, beyond description. It's, it's awesome. I just can't quit, I got the salt flat fever. Alcohol or a turbocharger helps the motorcycles down the line. After a week of watching all these bikes, I'm here to say the bumps of pain is fine, fine, fine. Well, I don't know if I can wait a year. Come next September, I hope to be back here. Watching all the bikes and meeting all the folks. Hanging down at the bar and hearing some lousy jokes By the speed bug I got bit Now I just can't quit, I got the salt flats fever
They're on course to pass the three. They're getting faster, just look and see. Tuck down low and riding with a smile, screaming on through the famous measured mile. Well, by the speed bug, I got bit. Now I just can't quit, cause I got the salt blood fever right here at Bonneville.